Morim, Monastery of the Cult of the Heavenly Demon. The Sky Demon of the Sky Demon Cult sits in deep thought. In front of him stands the first elder of the monastic order, the Demon Fist. He reports that all nine sects, orthodox and unorthodox, have already been subdued. The Sky Demon asks why, in this case, the Demon Fist is inactive. The Fist Demon is indignant. It's not enough that the Heavenly Demon is a famous master. He doesn't care about anything. The Sky Demon advises him not to say anything stupid. He's not carefree at all. One day, while practicing a divine art, his body and soul became separated and he could not return back to his own body. At first it was fun. He could fly to the moon if he wanted. The Demon Fist understands that the Demon has nothing to do with the Heavenly Monastery. The Sky Demon begins to get angry that no one is listening to his explanation. He demands that his subordinate stop crying. The Heavenly Demon waves his hand, and the room is enveloped in bright light. He really wants to harm the Demon Fist, but nothing came of it. The Heavenly Demon complains that no matter how great a martial artist he is, without a physical body, everything is useless. At this time the wind rises, and a black hole opens in the middle of the room. The Heavenly Demon feels like he is being pulled into this hole by some irresistible force. It is very difficult to resist it, and the Heavenly Demon uses the weight of the rock, a magical technique that increases the mass of bodies six times. But that doesn't help. Without a physical body, the spell does not work. He is pulled into a black portal. Hyun Su's boyfriend wakes up terrified from the dream he had. All the people mocked him in his dream. They said that he had no superpowers, and that even old people were better than him. He woke up because of his scream. Two years ago, portals to other worlds simultaneously opened all over the earth. Hundreds of monsters began to crawl out of these portals onto Earth. They destroyed everyone and everything that came in their way. Humanity launched a counterattack with the best weapons of its time. However, modern weapons were useless against monsters. Humanity was threatened with complete destruction. And then superpowers began to awaken in people. Among them, Class C hunters stood out, in whom abilities of the highest power awakened. Their weapons were effective against monsters. When the war ended in victory, Class C hunters gained unlimited power. 1% of people never acquired any superpowers. They were called ordinary people. How did they live in this world? Park Hyun Soo, a 27-year-old guy and a support person, can tell you about this. At this moment, he reads a message from the hospital that if he does not pay the debt, the administration will be forced to discharge his brother Hyun Tai. This means that he will be discharged to certain death. Park Hyun Soo thinks that it is better for him to die than not be able to help his brother. If the brother does not have a guardian, then the state will take care of him. At this time, a portal opens in his room. Park Hyun Soo is very scared and calls for help. The figure of a gray-haired, gloomy old man appears from the portal. He falls directly on Park Hyun Soo. The guy screams in horror and asks the heavenly demon who he is. The heavenly demon asks in surprise, can the guy really see him? Hyun Soo jumps up and runs away from the strange old man further towards the wall. If he came to rob him, he had the wrong door. Hyun Soo has nothing of value. The heavenly demon hovers above the floor and wonders where he ended up. Hyun Soo also notices this ability in his guest. He asks if the hunter man came from the portal. The heavenly demon does not understand the question. His attention is attracted by the monitor, which he mistakes for an interesting painted lantern. He tries to pick it up to take a closer look, but his hands go through the monitor. Patriarch still remained disembodied. Hyun Soo concludes that the ghost of death came for him and suddenly changes his mind about dying. The heavenly demon can no longer hear the insults. Sometimes they call him a thief, sometimes he calls him a ghost, and he abruptly interrupts the guy and flicks him on the nose. The blow is painful. The heavenly demon is surprised to realize that he can touch this guy. He thinks about something, then turns around and goes out the closed door. He goes outside and finds himself among skyscrapers, cars and people. He looks with interest at the carts without horses, and at huge houses that he has never seen and thinks that this is definitely not Marim. He asks a question to a passing guy, but he passes by without seeing anything. The heavenly demon understands that he is material only for that boy. Hyun Soo tapes up the place where the portal was. He scared him a lot. If this is a portal, then you need to report it to the authorities. His phone rings. Hunter Kim Hak Sun wants to talk to Hyun Soo. He tells Hyun Soo that they have a difficult situation on the Class B portal. They need support. Can Hyun Soo help? Hyun Soo readily agrees. Hyun Soo is very proud that he received a call from Kim Han Sun himself, a Class B hunter. He returns to the room and sees the Sky Demon sitting, who tells him that in their area, only crazy people talk to themselves. Hyun Soo screams in surprise. Why is this grandfather here again? The Heavenly Demon grumbles that he himself would not have come to such a wretched hut, but he has to. Hyun Soo is about to leave and tells his guest that he needs to get to the portal to help people. 
and his grandfather must find another place to live before he returns. The heavenly demon asks you to tell him what hunters and portals are. But Hyun Su has no time to explain. He leaves and demands that the evil grandfather get out of his apartment. Otherwise, he will call the police. But the grandfather turned out to be not so simple. He grabs the guy by the collar and shouts that on his own two feet he will take a long time to get there and will be late. He casts the Sky Demon Wing spell and rushes forward, dragging Hyun Su who is screaming in horror behind him. People see one person flying through the air and ask, Is this a hunter with new superpowers? Hyun Su yells at his companion to get down to the ground. They have already arrived at the place. The bus should take them to the portal. The heavenly demon lowers the guy, and he cannot catch his breath after such a flight. Park Hyun Su sits on the bus and thinks that Class B portals are very dangerous. But if he survives, the money he earns will be enough to pay for the hospital. A heavenly demon pokes his head out from above and asks, Where are they going? Hyun Su yells again in surprise. He doesn't understand why the old man follows him. He replies that every time he wants to leave, some force brings him back. Hyun Su is not happy that now the old man's ghost will follow him everywhere. But the heavenly demon, on the contrary, is glad that he will have someone to talk to. Kandonggu, Ilcha Mountains. A portal opened at the top of the mountain. The hunters had almost reached him. Supports take a piece of equipment and advance to the portal. Hyun Su takes the box and walks up the mountain towards the portal with the others. Hunters are already standing near the portal. The commander of everything is Kim Hak Sun. He is 22 years old, and he says that one Class B hunter, four Class C hunters, and five supports will go into the portal. Lee Aaron, a Class B hunter 22 years old, adds that the Class B portal is dangerous. Battle-hardened hunters should keep an eye on newcomers. The supports say that they only volunteered to go to this portal because they wanted to see Lee Aaron. Someone is calling Hyun Su. He turns around and sees Choi Jun Sung, 28 years old, a Class B hunter. He is not happy to see him. Choi says that he didn't expect to meet Hyun Su here. Is it really not enough for him what he did during the last operation in the portal? Jun Sung is a very rude guy who beats people up left and right. He deliberately provokes people and pretends that he is just joking. One day, he put Hyun Su out of action for three months, just like that. Jun Sung waves his hand and says he just wants to say hello. He asks Hyun Su who called him here, and he replies that the hunter is Kim Han Sun. Jun Sung tells the guy to try harder today and hits him in the chest. Hyun Sung bends over and coughs, and Jun Sung, very pleased with himself, walks away. The heavenly demon approaches Hyun Su and asks who this ill-mannered young man is. Hyun Su replies that this jerk is always causing problems and blaming others. The heavenly demon slaps the guy on the head. He shouts indignantly, why does the old man allow himself to fight? People around him think that Hyun Su is strange, talking to himself. The group enters the portal. The operation has begun. Hyun Su could never get used to the moment of entering the portal. This is very unpleasant. The sky demon follows him. At the same time, he experiences the same sensations as when he was sucked into the portal. They come out in a place where there is dry earth everywhere. This is an unfamiliar world. Hunter Kim orders an analysis to be carried out to understand what world they find themselves in. The heavenly demon wants Hyun Su to go and find out for himself what kind of world they are in. But this cannot be done without an order. The heavenly demon understands that the guy is just a servant porter, and Hyun Su has nothing to object to this. The heavenly demon sees a desert on the surface of the earth, but he feels the movement of underground waters. The analysis of the world is completed, and the girl reports that the basis of this world is water. It sounds strange, but this is what the measuring instruments show. No one can believe this. Maybe the devices are faulty. A fountain of water bursts out of the ground. After a moment, these fountains become more and more numerous. People start to panic. Monsters armed with spears and sharp teeth jump out of the ground along with the water. These are mermaids, and it is unclear how they noticed a group of people. The command comes. Don't panic. Beginners should stay behind the hunters. One of the mermaids attacks a man. The man falls, unable to withstand the blow. The monster runs straight at him. The battle begins and many people have already suffered in it. Everything that happens is impossible. Usually at the entrance to the portal there is a safe zone. Now even Class B hunters can barely cope. Hunter forgive Hyun Su to urgently give him his spear. A merman armed with a trident flies towards him. Hyun Su does not have time to unsheath his spear and misses the blow. He flies back. The spear falls out of his hands and a toothy monster chases after him. The hunter shouts that he needs a spear, but Hyun Su is wounded and cannot get up. The monster's harpoon pierced the body armor like a rag. What Hyun Su sees in front of him now makes him panic. A merman armed with a strange weapon is moving towards him. Hyun Su thinks that now he will die and the monster will eat him. Nothing can stop the bloodthirsty monster. Hyun Su, in a fit of despair, pushes the monster away with his hand and it begins to bleed. He hears a voice, 
The strike of the heavenly demon king is ten times stronger than the highest technique of the Shaolin monks, snapping his fingers. The pleased heavenly demon stands on the rock above Hyunsu and is happy that he can fight the monsters. Hyunsu yells loudly, Wait, the great heavenly demon is fighting with some fish. Now let Hyunsu watch carefully. The heavenly demon will show class. The battle between mermaids and people is in full swing. The heavenly demon deftly dodges attacks from tridents and spears. And in response, he hits the monsters so that they immediately cease to be dangerous. A huge merman swings a spear at him, but he is still too young, a thousand years young, and will not be able to harm the heavenly demon. And the demon tears the monster into pieces with one blow of his hand. The next monster attacks the sky demon with its fist, but this attack also leads to nothing. This monster is also killed. These monsters are just a parody of the human form. They are disgusting. To quickly end the battle, the demon uses a chaos flash. It will destroy opponents within 45 meters in the area. There is a loud explosion and the heads, arms and legs of the mermaids fly into the air. People are also blinded by the sudden explosion. Both the mermaids and the humans look at what is happening in confusion. Nobody expected this. The hunter cannot believe that Park Hyun Soo is doing all this because he is a simple man with no abilities. Nobody sees the demon. From the abyss to the demon is understood the surviving monster. He is very angry and wants to kill his enemy. This is the king of the mermaids. He has incredible power. The demon rushes to attack the monster, but go right through it, and it comes out from the back of the monster without harming it. All the demon's energy disappeared somewhere. Now he cannot harm monsters. Hyunsu realizes that they are in a very bad situation. A huge merman appears above him, which rushes at the guy. He hits him so hard that sparks fly. Hyunsu flies far away and falls to the ground. His body armor and ability to group saved him, but he will not withstand a second such blow. The heavenly demon tells the guy that if he doesn't rise now, he will die. The mermaid flies at him, clenching his iron fists. At the last moment, Hyunsu gets up and jumps to the side. The monster's fist crashes into the ground where the guy had just been lying. The monster is very angry, and the heavenly demon demands that the guy get back on his feet. Hyunsu needs to look at the creature that attacks him carefully. The demon draws the guy's attention to the monster's legs. He has thin bones there. This is his weak point. In addition, mermaids have weak collarbones. The demon kicks Hyunsu and tells him to go break all the merman's weak bones. Hyunsu finds himself in front of the monster and tries to tell him that his grandfather came up with all this. The grandfather yells at the guy to use his elbows in close combat and break the bastard's collarbone. Hyunsu realizes that his grandfather has gone crazy. He could never do that. But the demon does not calm down and yells at the guy to look at the enemy. Hyunsu doesn't care and clenches his fist. With his elbow, he hits the monster's collarbone with all his might missing its sharp teeth. His blow lands, and the monster suddenly falls to the ground. Hyunsu can't believe that he just knocked out a merman with these very hands. The demon yells why the idiot stood rooted to the spot. Let him finish off the monster. There is a spear on the ground that Hyunsu was never able to give to the hunter. The guy takes it in his hands, but before if he killed it was small monsters, and then by accident. But how to kill such a monster? The demon says that Hyunsu should not hesitate. He still needs to help his comrades. Hyunsu turns around and sees that the battle is in full swing and the hunters are having a hard time coping. Kim and Choi chop down monsters. Lee Aaron fights with a sword, but the monsters keep coming. Hyunsu knows they are all at war, and so does he. His parents died in a car accident when a monster came out of the ground, who turned their car over and nothing could be done. His brother ended up in the hospital, and all this happened because of such monsters. Hyunsu raised his spear high above the merman, and he stuck it into the monster, blood sprayed. Hyun Su was enveloped in a blue light, and a display window appeared on which it was written that he had expanded his boundaries by overcoming difficulties. Hyun Su finally became awakened. His skill statistics appeared on the display. A unique ability was revealed to him, following clues. Hyun Su became very angry. How did he manage to awaken such a useless ability? Meanwhile, the battle with the monsters continues, and the hunters suffer losses. Lee Aaron and Kim fight side by side. They are very tired. Their formation is broken, they are close to defeat. Kim Hak's son doesn't understand why such monsters appeared in the Class B portal. He gives the order to retreat. Intelligence led them. This is a portal of a higher class. Liaren agrees with him, and also orders to retreat before new monsters approach. Everyone who can stand must help the wounded. People begin to leave the battlefield, finishing off the remaining monsters and carrying out the wounded. This was the first time Hyun Su found himself in such a dangerous situation. He is sure that if it were not for the ghost of the old man, he would not have survived. Hunter Kim walks by and tells Hyun Su that when they go out, they have something to discuss. Hyun Su doesn't understand what he did wrong. Will Kim Hak Sun give him a punishment? 
He passes through the portal, carrying the wounded man and thinks that he did everything right, and there is nothing to punish him for. The hunters tell the crowd that all those killed will be awarded posthumously and declare a minute of silence. Jun Sung is silent and mourns along with everyone and thinks that now the association will blame this incident on the hunters as their senior ranks. This is very unpleasant. Kim continues her speech. Today they have another awakened one. Let's applaud him. Hyun Soo is not happy about this and doesn't understand how they guessed. Everyone congratulates the guy, and now he knows what Kim wanted to talk to him about. All equipment must be packed and loaded onto buses. This is the property of the association. Hyun Soo is busy packing boxes. Jun Sung approaches him and asks if Hyun Soo is happy. The guy doesn't know what Jun Sung is up to, and he says the world has gone crazy. Someone dies, and a new awakened one comes in his place. He slaps Hyun Soo across the face and demands that he tell him about his abilities. People around him are also interested in knowing this, although they don't like Jun Sung. If Hyun Soo reveals that his ability is following clues, it will make everyone around him laugh. He doesn't want to be a laughing stock, and he doesn't know what to say either. The demon wonders why Hyun Soo is embarrassed about his new ability. The guy asks him to be silent. Jun Sung thinks that the guy went crazy when he woke up and he's talking to himself. He takes a swing at Hyun Soo and wants him to demonstrate his new ability immediately. The demon advises Hyun Soo to take a step back. He does so and dodges Jun Sung's blow. Even though he was able to stay on his feet, he skidded from a miss. The display provides information that the use of the ability, following the prompts, was successful and the attack power was increased by 15%. Angered by his failure, Jun Sung attacks Hyun Soo with his fists. Hyun Soo takes a fighting stance and is ready to defend himself. The demon behind him prompts. A tyranny jump to the left and a lightning strike to the right. The display comes to life again and initiates recording of this technique. Hyun Soo feels strange, as if time has stopped. The new technique is recorded in his memory. Effortlessly, he performs a tiger leap to the left and a lightning fast right hand. Jun Sung flies far back from such blows, and it turns over several times before falling. People can't believe that Hyun Soo knocked out a Class B hunter with one blow. He just awakened. How did he get such strength? Kim Hak Sun checked Jun Sung's condition. His pulse was normal, but he still decided to call the doctors. Incredibly, Hyun Soo was able to knock out Jun Sung. He himself cannot believe it. Kim approaches the guy and says that using force against a colleague is strictly prohibited and may result in criminal liability. But for the first time, Kim pretends that nothing happened. Jun Sung annoyed everyone and it served him right. Kim promises that he will put in a good word for Hyun Soo in the association and let the guy come to take over the class. Lee Aran also congratulates Hyun Soo and expresses hope that they will work together. Hyun Soo can't believe the girl spoke to him. The heavenly demon wonders if the guy likes her. The guy desperately denies this, and Lee Aran watches in surprise as he talks to himself. Hyun Soo wants to tell the demon something important, but he can't find the words. Finally, he falls to his knees and asks his grandfather to take him as his student, and he taught all the martial arts that he himself knows. The heavenly demon does not want any students at all. If he babysits a student, when will he practice martial arts? Hyun Soo thinks that if the grandfather is incorporeal, then why should he practice martial arts? Moreover, he himself told the guy that he was bored. Besides, if Hyun Soo dies, the ghost will never be able to return to where it came from. Grandfather saw how Hyun Soo was helpless in the portal. If not for his help, he would have died. The heavenly demon thinks that if he teaches this idiot, he will grow up to be a hunter and will be able to gain freedom of movement not only through portals, but throughout all worlds. Hyun Soo says that if he has class A, then he can go wherever he wants, and if he has class C, then he will become untouchable. No one will dare challenge him. The heavenly demon declares that he is precisely the untouchable. The demon floats in the air and demands that Hyun Soo begin with the ritual of nine bows. The guy has no idea about such a ritual. The demon indignantly says that the student must bow to the teacher nine times. Hyun Soo would like to do this in a deserted place, but the demon wants it right now. People watch in surprise as the guy begins to bow in front of an empty space. It seems to Lee Aaron that Hyun Soo is not at home, but Hunter Kim hopes that the guy will come to his senses. The demon and Hyun Soo came home and the demon demanded that Hyun Soo clean the apartment. The great heavenly demon cannot live in such a pigsty. Gritting his teeth tightly, Hyun Soo began cleaning. The portal that Hyun Soo covered with paper is still in the wall. The demon dove into him. He also took Hyun Soo with him. They found themselves in a strange, deserted place. The demon decided that this was a great place for Hyun Soo to undergo life and death trials. He told the guy to take off his shirt and sit next to him. Hyun Soo did just that. His teachers were enveloped in streams of power. He touched the guy's back with his shining palm. Now he was adjusting the flow of his energy nodes. This was necessary to do before training. 
Hyun Soo felt a lot of tension in his back and throughout his body. He started screaming in severe pain. The demon finished his work and thought that the guy had an extremely healthy body. Cleaning it took very little time. Hyun Soo didn't think so. A little more and he would have died. The demon was sorry that his student's body was created for battles, but he lives in a time when martial arts were consigned to oblivion. They walked out of the portal into Hyun Soo's apartment. Hyun Soo felt an extraordinary lightness in his body. All fatigue disappeared as if by hand. It seemed to him that he could even fly. He actually flew up and hit his head on the ceiling. He even punched it. The demon remembered that he wanted to warn his student, who was hanging with his head in the ceiling about something. He shared with him a piece of the heavenly demon's divine skill. Hyun Soo fell out of the trap and asked, What does this mean? The demon continued that it was dangerous, and he was surprised how the guy could survive after this. Hyun Soo yelled that his grandfather had gone completely crazy. He could have killed him. Util gave his student a slap in the face, and he rolled on the floor. Don't be rude to the teacher. He didn't kill him after all. He needed to check if Hyun Soo could become his student. What he gave him yesterday is the only technique available to mere mortals. With her alone, he would not have become his student. The next day, Hyun Soo and the demon whom no one had seen came to the association. The guy told the girl at the reception desk that he was Park Hyun Soo, and Hunter Kim promised to sign him up for a class assessment. The girl was very happy and asked to take a selfie with the guy, after which she said that he needed to go down to the fifth underground floor and find the chief appraiser, Nok Su. Hyun Soo felt very awkward, but the demon insisted that he get the title in order to be his disciple. Downstairs, Hyun Soo heard strange sounds. He saw someone hitting the training wall and heard an exclamation, a great hit. The man shouted to the girl who had just carried out a series of blows that she was doing well. The girl said that she could hit even better. Chief Evaluator Young Nok Su replied that the result for Class B was excellent, but the girl is not ready for Class A yet. Nok Su saw Hyun Su and invited him in. He called one of his assistants, who was also happy to see Hyun Su. Rumors about how the guy put Choi Jun Sung in his place had already spread, and everyone wanted to meet the one who did it. The girl went to continue testing. She and Hyun Su exchanged glances. Hyun Su was confused. The girl asked if this guy was really awakened. The coach replied yes. Perhaps this is her future colleague, and they will meet in the portal. Hyun Su changed into a suit for the assessment. The demon was outraged by the obscenity of the clothes. It was very tight. Walking around naked is even more decent. Hyun Su walked to the evaluation wall, and he prepared to strike, the strength of which would be displayed on the scoreboard. The demon advised him to open up energy flows. Hyun Su did just that and felt incredible power. He struck with such force that there was destruction in the hall. Jung Nok Su screamed in fear. The number 1,120 appeared on the board. Hyun Su couldn't believe that he got such a result. For class A, you had to score 900 points. Jung Nok Su exclaimed that it was incredible. A class A warrior was standing in front of him. Only C class was higher. The evaluation wall was broken. Therefore, Hyun Su could not make the second blow, and they moved on to the next tests. Testing kicks brought Hyun Su 1,377 points. He fell just short of class C. Next, Hyun Su was connected to monitors and his running was checked. Then the ability to dodge blows. According to the test results, Hyun Su had an A class. Jung Nok Su said that in the afternoon, there will be the most important test, a battle simulation. For now, he can go to the cafeteria and eat. Hyun Su happily ate ramen, a Korean noodle soup. The demon was watching him, and Hyun Su suggested that he try it. The demon got angry. He couldn't eat without his body. In the afternoon, Hyun Su came to the battle simulation room. The same girl came out from there, and she looked sad. She is very tired and the instructor supports her. He says that her result is good and she will receive a document about class assignment. Hyun Soo thought he would have a hard time. Nok Sun invited him to the battle simulation room. This system was created by engineer and C-class hunter Anderson Walker. Hyun Soo stood in the middle of the room. The battle simulation gives the most realistic feeling of fighting with monsters. Hyun Soo looked up. There was something hanging above him. He put it on. Noxon explained that the damage the guy would receive during the test would also be quite real. There are ten levels to go through. Since Hyun Soo is applying for Class A, they will start from Level 4. The test has begun. Hyun Soo stood in an unfamiliar forest. The demon did not lag behind him, and was also there. There were many wild monkeys in the forest who were watching people. The demon noted that the one who created this machine was an expert in the magic of mystical dimensions. It is used to deceive the enemy or to hide something but this is a cheap trick. He and the demon walked through the forest. Everything was quiet. Suddenly, a monster attacked them from the bushes. The demon was the first to notice him. The demon attacked the monster with lightning speed. 
The monster received a strong blow, and the demon was glad that he had regained his strength and could now kill monsters. The remains of the monster lay on the ground, and Hyun Su looked in surprise at his fist, which glowed with blue fire. He yelled at the demon that he was now thinking about his students' abilities. The demon sighed heavily. A whole flock of monsters attacked the guy. The demon advised the lazy donkey's somersault. Hyun Su couldn't believe his ears. Is he kidding? The demon demanded that the idiot do everything he was told, and Hyun Su made an incredible leap. A flock of monsters ran past. Suddenly, the monsters became worried and began to huddle together. A huge ogre came into the clearing. Hyun Su didn't even reach his knee. The ogre raised his giant fist over the guy's head, and he lowered him to the place where he had stood a moment ago. Hyun Su barely managed to jump away. Org chased the guy and he ran like he had never run in his life. He ran away, but managed to shout to the demon so that he would pay attention to this huge monster and tell him what to do. The teacher said that the student was given the opportunity to understand what he could do, so let him do it himself. If Hyun Su just runs away, he won't be assigned a class. Then he decided to hit the monster with his powerful blow for 1,377 points. He hit the ogre in the knee. He couldn't reach higher. The ogre looked down at the man and smiled an eerie smile. The damage the blow caused him was minimal. The ogre reached out to the man and grabbed him. He raised it high up and squeezed tightly. If Hyun Su faints now, it will all be over for him. The guy called his teacher. The teacher advised me to calm my breathing and distribute the energy throughout my body. Hyun Su did just that. He felt the energy of the heavenly demon within him. He released this energy, which poured out in a stream of power. The ogre's hands unclenched. Then they broke away altogether and Hyun Su was free. The guy jumped on the ogre's head and hit him in the face with his knee. The shot turned out great. The monster shattered into small pieces. The test continued as Hyun Su stood in a circle in the battle simulation room. The fourth level has been completed. Noxun said that level five will be ready in five minutes. He told Li Mina, a class A hunter and member of the association, who entered the office that he had never seen anyone break through the physical suppression system, and the newcomer was very strong and had great potential. Nok Sun said that if she was sent here, then the association had already heard rumors about the talent. Li Mina could not allow such a rare class of fighter to be taken away by the guilds. Hyun Su and the demon found themselves in a very cold forest. The demon was surprised that the magician who created this could create the illusion of weather. They saw a girl running towards them and calling for help. She threw herself into Hyun Su's arms, asking him to protect her. But a moment later, she raised her face, which she had been hiding until now and Hyun Su was taken aback by the sight of the terrible face that was about to devour him. The terrible winged vampire grabbed him by the throat. Hyun Su was surprised that a fight with vampires awaited him on the fifth level. Li Mi Na and Nok soon observed Hyun Su and noted that his fighting stance was reminiscent of ancient martial arts films. Hyun Su hit someone with his knee. Li Mi Na noted that the guy's strikes are very effective. In the illusory world, Hyun Su fought with a vampire, who stated that the guy is a worthy opponent and then he received a strong blow to the chest, which pierced him through. Hyun Su put his hand through the hole and ripped out the vampire's heart. The vampire had no choice but to die. Nok Sun reported that the fifth level had been completed. Hyun Su is amazing. After a half hour break, Hyun Su expected level six. Hyun Su left the office very tired. He thought he could do better. Nok Sun replied that everything went fine and the guy could go to the office to pick up his documents. Li Mina called out to him. She introduced herself and said that she wanted to meet him. They shook hands, and the demon said that the student should get used to the attention of women. They will soon be lining up to see him. The girl invited Hyun Su to sign a contract with the association. Hyun Su did not believe that he would also become a hunter. The contract provided for a stable salary and an allowance for expeditions to portals. Li Mi Na said that this contract was made specifically for Hyun Su. The demon asked what conditions were being offered to his student. It is he who must set the conditions, and the guy deserves better. Hyun Su listened to the master's tips. The demon considered it wrong to work for the association for ten years. Hyun Su said that he prefers to work for five years, and he needs a large bonus for risking his life because he will go to Class C portals. Li Mina understood that the association needed this newcomer. He was very promising. They didn't have time to sign anything because someone kicked the office door open. The red-haired girl began shouting from the doorway, that the association does not value its workers and enters into enslaving contracts with them. Ha Yurak from the Red Lions Guild was irresistible. Hyun Su was very happy to see her. She was a Class C hunter and he was very flattered by that. The demon was delighted with the new girl. Ha Yurak lounged in her chair and said that the Red Lions Guild had much more to offer than the association. Li Mi Na really wanted to hit the impudent visitor. Who let her in here? 
The demon told his disciple that this woman was very strong. He had never met anyone like them in their world. Ha Yurak was the leader of the most powerful guild in Korea. Ha Yurak persuaded the guy to think that the guild has much more opportunities, and Lee Mina replied that the association has a monopoly on raids on portals. Ha Yurak replied that the Red Lions Guild received the same rights. They are waiting for official permission. So far, no one knows about it. Hyun Soo thought that in this case, the guild would have the same rights as the state association. He stood up and said that he had made a decision. We'll find out which one a little later. We were transported to the portal on Mount Ilka. Hunters fight monsters underwater. There was an error in intelligence data. They were told that they would be walking on wet ground, but in fact, there was a deep sea. There are more monsters than people. This is definitely not a Class B portal. If people don't come up with something, they will all be destroyed. The squad leader orders everyone to retreat. He will detain the monsters. The sergeant major has a unique ability, the technique of creating shadow clones. This is one of the most difficult Class C techniques, lasting up to 10 minutes. The sergeant major carries the wounded from the battlefield. Thanks to his skill, all the people survived. The sergeant major needs to get to his real body. The sergeant major finds his real body and gets to his feet. At that same second, a huge toothy mouth appears from under the water. No one has time to do anything before she swallows the foreman. We return to the office again. The girls sit sadly on the couch and complain that this idiot deceived them. Hyun Soo said that he would wait for other offers and would not rush, in case some guild would offer even more favorable conditions. He took his leave and left. Habrak is shocked by the arrogance of the newcomer and burns with anger. She runs as fast as she can from the association office, with a trail of power flowing behind her. On Hyun Soo's display, the inscription lights up that his skill class is transcendental. Skill, Sky Demon Superiority Walk. Hyun Soo doesn't even realize what he just read. There are only five classes, and there are no transcendental classes there. The demon says that stance and proper movement are the basis of martial arts. Only after studying it can you begin to learn the techniques. The demon shows the first set of superiority gate movements, the appearance of the heavenly demon. Her movements are light and smooth. The demon seems to be moving, but as if not. The demon finished demonstrating the movement. Hyun Soo continues to sit on the ground. The display suggests that his mental abilities are reduced, and he has not learned the information. The demon demands that Hyun Soo concentrate and watch carefully, and proceeds to the second set of movements, the flight of the heavenly demon. Hyun Soo sees that his teacher really flies. He rides the air like a dragon and in the blink of an eye can find himself behind the enemy. The master finished showing the technique. Hyun Soo again did not understand anything about what the inscription on the display told him. The demon says that if the guy masters the appearance and flight of the heavenly demon, he will be able to learn the first six techniques of his cult, crushing blows from the heavens. The display suggests that Hyun Soo has received transcendental great information. Hyun Soo is very surprised. Hyun Soo didn't even consider the third set of movements. The demon simply disappeared before his eyes. And the inscription on the display told him that his understanding was zero. This is the technique for releasing the soul of a heavenly demon, the master told him as he appeared out of nowhere. The fourth complex is the vortex of the soul of the heavenly demon. From the bright flash, Hyun Soo covered his eyes with his hand. And again, I didn't understand anything. All these techniques made the guy dizzy and he fell to the ground. There was a meeting in the association regarding the failure in the portal on the mountain. Only four Class B hunters and five supports emerged. Petty Officer Odeho died. This is the third raid and again a defeat. Intelligence does not provide the full picture. Is the intelligence department doing a bad job? The intelligence department says all the data is correct. Lee Mina stands up and says she has a solution. Hyun Soo woke up screaming in his bed. He didn't remember how he ended up here. The demon told him that he had never seen greater shame. His student passed out during training, and this training was not yet carried out at full capacity. He advised the student to focus on increasing his potential and study the techniques harder. At the meeting, Lee Mina suggested that the association consider cooperation with other associations. When the Red Lions were cited as an example of such associations, everyone who was at the meeting was very indignant. This guild has already been given the right to use portals. Is this not enough for them? And Mrs. Lee should resign for such a proposal. For the association, portals have become an object of trade. They have no idea what it's like to conduct a raid on a portal. Lee Mina was very upset. Hyun Soo was walking through the streets of Seoul and was happy to see that his salary had been transferred. Now he can pay his brother's hospital bills. After paying the bills, there was almost nothing left on the card. Messages were coming to the guy's phone. All the guilds wanted to work with him. He will have money soon. He invited the demon to go to a cafe and eat. He promised to treat the teacher with delicious food. And then he received a strong slap on the head. 
for mocking elders. He went to the store where his friend worked. She was very happy to see the guy. Hyunsu left her a generous tip. The demon asked, Is his student seeking the girl's attention in this way? Hyunsu said that the girl is an orphan. Like him, she is raising her brother and sister. To do this, she dropped out of school. Hyunsu ate ramen at home with great appetite. The demon watched him with envy. Finally, he couldn't stand it anymore and grabbed the student's hand and quickly ate the noodles from his chopsticks. To everyone's surprise, he succeeded. Hyunsu is amazed that his teacher is so quickly learning new skills that were not available to him. The demon was delighted with the taste of the noodles, so he can eat from the guy's hand. What a good student he is. Hyunsu's friend from the store, Yoon, was walking down the street with purchases for children. She saw fountains of water begin to gush out from under the ground. Streams of water washed away both people and cars. Mermen armed with harpoons and pikes emerged from the water. There were a lot of them. People were horrified and did not understand what was happening. One of the monsters attacked a man. The rest of the people tried to escape. One of the monsters, most importantly, clutched a spear in his hand. This land of plenty will now belong to them, and they will destroy everyone who lived here before. Now they will be the rulers of this place. The toothy monsters rushed to hunt people. The girl was very scared and did not know what to do. Hyun Su, unaware of what was going on in the city, worked on the techniques in the portal. He had already slightly mastered some techniques, but he was far from perfect. The demon watched the student and noted that he was very gifted. The association raised an alarm. The invasion of monsters from the portal from Mount Ilcha was unexpected. Lee Mina thought that everyone should have united. She thought that the Isaac Guild was probably already there. Its leader is the human panther Choi Hyun Woo. The girl needed to be in the center of the fighting. She demanded that all available fighters be sent to the site of the portal breakthrough. The Isaac Guild cannot cope without outside help. After training, Hyunsu and the demon climbed out of the portal into the guy's room. Hyunsu turned on the TV. The news reported that there was now flooding and chaos in Kandong. Fishmen have infested the city and are killing the townspeople. The demon remembered that they had been in that portal recently. Hyunsu remembered that Yoon lives in this area, and now she is in danger. He immediately ran to her aid. It took a long time to drive through traffic jams by car. Running in a straight line would have been faster, but there were buildings on the way. Therefore, Hyunsu decided to use the Sky Demon Flight technique. He concentrated and exerted all his strength, and he flew, not paying attention to obstacles. He used the walls of the houses as an opportunity to push off and continue flying. The demon flew behind and watched the student approvingly. At the epicenter of the battle with monsters, the head of the guild Isaac, the Panther Man, fought. He inflicted wounds on them with his claws. The people who hid in the building recognized him. It was the fighter Choi Hyun Woo. He shouted that he would kill all the creatures. The other hunters kept pace with their boss. One wielded a huge sword, which was already covered in the blood of the monsters he had killed. He had just struck a monster with it that had approached him from behind. Another hunter on a motorboat shot with a bow and was very accurate. Three monsters have already received an arrow in the head. Explosions rang out throughout the invasion site. It was a chemist archer from Kangdonggu. The soldier waved approvingly at the girl. She fought with amazing skill. A huge monster jumped out of the water and swallowed the soldier. The girl sent a stream of arrows to kill the monster and avenge the death of her comrade. Choi Hyun Woo grabbed the girl and carried her away from this place. He didn't want her to get eaten too. They were running away from a monster chasing them on a hydro scooter. The female monster boss sat on the fountain and thought that the hunters made excellent food for her pets. The monster opened its mouth and the hunters had nowhere to go. The figure of Hyun Soo appeared in the sky, who while flying, thought that he would use the tiger throw technique to the right. He aimed at the monster from a height and hit it on the head with a powerful blow. The hunters turned around at the sound of the blow and were very surprised. The dead monster went under the water. That was incredible. Who could kill such a monster with one blow? Not every C-class hunter is capable of this. After a successful fight with the monster, Hyun Su returned to the roof, where the demon was waiting for him. Another enraged monster chased after him to avenge the death of his brother. Hyun Su started to run away from him. The monster followed him, and Hyun Su used the heavenly demon appearance technique. The display showed that he had mastered this technique by 40%. The demon watched from above as his student fought the monster. He saw that Hyun Su was running out of steam, and he advised him to distribute his energy and increase muscle strength. Lee Mina couldn't get to the scene. She was stuck in traffic and was very angry. She saw a stream about an unknown hunter fighting monsters. The girl recognized the hunter as Hyun Su. She got out of the car and decided that she would run faster on foot. At the same time, Hyun Su used the Sky Demon flight technique, adapting it to his capabilities. The display reported that this technique was 30% mastered. 
Hyunsu was proud that he still managed to beat the monster, even if only by 30%. Snake's most vulnerable spot is the chin. You can get close to the monster using Sky Demon Flight and do an uppercut. The monster boss looked at this battle and asked the Lord to give her strength. She shouted to the monster that this man was dangerous and should be killed immediately. Hyunsu had already flown up to the snake and was preparing to deliver a decisive crushing blow. But the snake pushed the guy away from him with his tail. The woman screamed for the serpent to devour the hunter and take away his power. Hyunsu crashed into the wall of the house so that it cracked and began to collapse. The snake was approaching the guy with the desire to devour him. A demon appeared behind the woman, who realized that she was a sorceress who supported monsters with healing magic. The sorceress wanted this world to become hers, and the demon regretted that it was not material and could not erase both the woman and the monsters into dust. But he had to save his student, who was close to death. But before he had time to do this, a loud order was given to everyone to stand still. Both the sorceress and the dragon turned at the sound of this voice. In a cloud of power, Hayurak appeared on the battlefield. The dragon also looked at the girl who asked Hyunsu how bad things were with him. He was great, he fought well, and if he had known about the sorceress, he might have been able to win. But then she can handle it on her own. This is what he, as a future member of the Red Lions Guild, must understand. And she took a fighting stance, and the flame of power grew even stronger around her. She rushed at the snake like a cannonball. The demon grabbed Hyunsu by the shoulders and flew with him in the other direction. It was not a flight, but a retreat. Two mermaids were approaching Yoon and she screamed loudly and called for help. Help came. One monster was pierced by an arrow, and the other was killed by a clawed paw. Hunters from the Isaac Guild arrived in time to help. The archer prepared to take the girl to safety, while Choi Hyun Woo stayed behind to look for other survivors. After some time, Hyun Soo woke up and asked what happened. His whole body ached. The demon replied that the snake was controlled by a witch. If it weren't for her, Hyun Soo would have won, but he lost. They were forced to make a strategic retreat, and the warrior maiden came to their aid when the student was passed out. Hyun Soo yelled that this snake was his prey, and he would not give it to anyone. He tried to fly again, but it didn't work out for him. The demon said that his body was exhausted and now needed to recover. Hyun Soo realized that the warrior maiden was Hayurak and decided not to give her victory, even though the demon said his body couldn't handle it. Hyun Soo replied that he lost his parents and his brother in the hospital due to monsters. He must fight. Therefore, he will not give up halfway. The demon liked the guy's fighting spirit. He said there is one way, but it is risky. Hayurak was in the midst of a battle with monsters. She attacked the snake with her strength, but it went into the depths. The girl's main goal was the witch, but she disappeared somewhere. The demon conducted an experiment on his student. It gave him strength and the opportunity to feel what he could achieve in the future. He warned that the duration of the power is limited. Hyun Su must be prudent. Two evil mermen attacked Hayurak with harpoons. She created a ring of power around herself and scattered the monsters. A giant snake rose from the depths and attacked the girl. She threw a fireball at him. The sorceress watched the battle and thought that the ruler would be angry. She did not expect to meet a fighter equal to herself here. The witch began to create magic. But Hayurak turned to her and shouted that these tricks would not work for her. The witch appeared as soon as there was danger for her worm. And now the girl will fight with her. The fireball flew towards the sorceress. Covered in flames, she flew into the water. A snake was dying nearby. Hyunsu absorbed the streams of power that his teacher transmitted to him. The display informed him that he had temporarily awakened an ability, the body of a heavenly demon. After the defeat of the sorceress, the snake did not die completely and was still dangerous. Hayurak decided to end his life. She attacked the serpent in a cloud of her power. But the serpent opened its mouth and began to absorb her power. The girl was thrown against the wall of the house, just like Hyunsu before. After the impact, she fell into the water. She sank to the bottom, and then she received a message that the evacuation of residents was completed and the area around her was free. She gathered her strength again and released it. She is one of the nine class sea hunters on this planet. She has unlimited powers. A huge explosion tore apart the water and the earth. She blew up all the buildings around, and the snake had nowhere to go. Now it will come to an end. The girl's attack was fast and powerful, but her hand with the fireball was intercepted by Hyunsu. Lee Mina ran down the street to help Hyunsu. He was too inexperienced and could not cope alone. On the way, the girl ran into a sporting goods store, and I bought a cast iron weight there. With one flick of her finger, she lifted the weight into the air, and then the weight began to fly around the girl. Li Mina stopped the weight from flying and grabbed it with her hand. The girl swung and threw the weight up and flew, holding the handle. Hyun Su held Ha Yurok's hand. He was going to finish the monster himself. His eyes burned with the blue fire of power. The girl did not agree with the guy, 
She also wanted to kill the monster. But if he promises to join the guild, she will be more accommodating. The serpent rose from the ruins of the city and stared at his enemies. Yun Su tensed in anticipation of the fight. Hyurak didn't even notice how he disappeared from the place where he stood. Hyun Su has already approached the snake. It opened its toothy mouth and growled. The man looked like a bug against the background of the monster. Hyun Su used level 1 heaven crushing blows, and he attacked the snake in the side with a direct blow. The snake was wounded and realized that it was necessary to save itself. He tried to hide from the hunter. Hyun Su jumped out right in front of the monster's face. He dealt tier 2 heaven's crushing blows. The snake fell to the ground unable to withstand such blows. He was covered in blood and could no longer move so fast. The heavenly demon's lessons were not in vain. Hyun Su was a very capable student. Hyun Su took off again, and the snake opened its terrible mouth. He was injured, but still dangerous. The celestial demon flight technique helped the guy deal many blows to the entire body of the snake. And the crushing blow of the third level heavens hit the snake directly in the head. Hyun Su applied it from above. Blood gushed from the beast's mouth and it thrashed about in agony and began to fall apart in the air. Hyun Su hovered above him. Ha Yurak was not angry with her eyes. What Hyun Su did was incredible. Li Mina landed next to her, who also believed that everything that was happening simply could not happen. The display showed a message that the temporary awakening of the ability had been stopped. Hyun Su didn't expect it to happen so quickly. Blood started pouring from his mouth, and he doubled over in a coughing fit. He lost consciousness and began to fall from a height to the ground. Both girls rushed to help the hero. The demon was glad that his student got the two best girls. Hyun Su Yoon's friend came home. She was greeted by her brother and sister. The archer reported that she took the girl home and she was fine. Choi Hyun Woo replied that the situation was improving. The leader of the Red Lions had dealt with the sorceress, and the snake was destroyed by an unknown hunter. The water level dropped to zero in many places. The archer shouted to Yoon that the danger had passed and went to the other hunters. Hyun Su woke up in the hospital, where a demon was eagerly waiting for him. The guy did not understand anything and was afraid that he had been defeated. The demon said that he lost consciousness after he dared to use his wonderful techniques haphazardly and without skill. Now the student will receive punishment for this. But the demon had no time to roam. Both hunters stood on the threshold of the chamber. They came to visit the hero. Hyun Su's jaw dropped when he saw who came to him. Meanwhile, the battle with the mermaids continued. People found those who remained and finished them off. The correspondent was reporting live, and Choi Hyun Woo was giving an interview. He said that hunters were searching throughout the city and would find and neutralize all the monsters. The girls vied with each other to care for Hyun Su in the hospital room. They quarreled over who would feed him. After eating, Lee Mina took out a black box. It contained Hyun Su's reward for his battle, the heart of a monster. The demon recognized the magic elixir. He had never seen an elixir of such incredible power. The heart of a monster is the substance that remains after the death of a fairly ancient monster. It contains great power. If you eat it, your performance will increase many times over. Hyun Su asked why he was being given this extraordinary artifact. Hayurak answered because they are very kind. But you can't just swallow the elixir. There are subtleties. If Hyun Su comes to the association, I'll tell him everything. Ha Yurak objected that she was a class C hunter and knew everything herself and would be able to tell the guy when he came to the Red Lions Guild. Each of the girls promised that she could give him the ability to use the artifact at 25 or 30 percent. They had a big fight. The demon watched them from above and was sure that he could make the elixir work 70 percent. The girls left, but then one of them returned. Ha Yurak spied through the crack in the door as Lee Mina persuaded Hyun Su to sign a contract with the association. She said that the most beneficial changes for the guy were made to the contract. She needed to hurry. Hyun Su could easily reach C class, and the association needed it to save her reputation. Li Mina left the room, and Ha Yurak entered. She sat on the bed and asked if Hyun Su liked the terms of the association. She was sure that the contract included a clause about immunity from criminal liability for killing people. But let the guy not forget that he will soon rise to C class, and they don't need any immunity. Nowadays, power is not with those who own weapons or money. Power is with C-class hunters. The only thing Hyun Su needs until he reaches Class C is patronage. The patronage of the leader of the Red Lions Guild is Ha Yurak. Lee Mina entered the room and Hyun Su apologized to her. She replied that it was his right to choose. Before she left, Hyun Su asked the association to help him. Hyun came in the morning to wake up the children. Today was a day off, but she had to go to work. Therefore, the children had to wash up and have breakfast. The children were brushing their teeth, and the head of a mermaid appeared in the filled bathtub. A child's cry was heard from the bathroom. The monster chased the crying children, and he grabbed the girl with his paws. He opened his mouth to devour her. 
Hyun took the knife she was using to cut vegetables and rushed at the monster. She plunged the knife into his side. The monster threw the girl away from him with one blow of his paw. He didn't let her sister out. Hyun fell, knocking all the dishes off the table. Lee Mina flew into the room holding a weight, which hit the monster hard in the side. From the blow, he released the girl from his clutches and rushed at the huntress. Lee Mina lifted the weights, knives and everything that was in the kitchen into the air, and she threw it all right in the merman's face. The weight hit the monster in the face, and the knife wounded him. The girl gathered strength and wished the monster to burn in hell. She attacked the monster and there was a small explosion. Hyun thanked the hunter for her help, but she couldn't understand how the girl knew that a monster had appeared here. Lee Man Na replied that Hyun Su asked her to come in and check on Yoon and the children. Meanwhile, the doctors were surprised how quickly Hyun Su recovered from his wounds. This was the first time they had seen such a recovery rate. It was also a pleasant surprise that the Red Lions Guild paid for all the treatment. The demon spoke approvingly of the guild taking care of its hunters. Hyun Su's phone received a message about the down payment that the guild had sent him. Hyun Su didn't believe it when he saw the amount. 600 million won was transferred to him. The demon took his student into the portal to continue training. He was going to teach him a technique in which the effect of the elixir could be increased to 70%. This is unimaginable power. What will Hyun Su do with her? Hyun Su replied that when the portals opened two years ago, many people, including him and Yoon, were harmed by monsters. Now he and the other hunters will not allow people to suffer. The demon remembered that his ancestors had spoken about the coming of a great horde. Could this be a monster invasion? The demon said that during the fight with the snake, Hyun Su used techniques that he did not teach. Heavenly demons pass on their skills from generation to generation. This was started by the first heavenly demon. He said that all this was in order to one day repel the great horde. Hyun Su said that this prediction is not from his dimension, and the demon agreed with him. That is why the demon wanted to return home as quickly as possible. Lee Mi Na landed on the street in front of Hyun Su's house. She called and knocked, but no one answered, and she needed to tell him what happened at Yun's house. Hyun Su was in the portal trying to swallow the elixir. It had to be swallowed whole, and Hyun Su was incapable of that. Uktil had already hit him on the forehead, causing a large lump to grow on the guy's head. He tried to swallow the elixir. Lee Mi Na found that the door was unlocked and entered the apartment, and I saw a black hole in the wall. At this time, Hyun Su was choking on the elixir and could not swallow it. The demon advised him to even out his heartbeat, and so as not to see the student's terrible face, he turned away. Hyun Su doesn't need to perceive the elixir as food. You just need to tune in to its energy. Li Mi Na decided that Hyun Su had not cleaned the apartment for so long that mold had grown on his wall, resembling a portal. She rolled up her sleeves, poured water and detergent into a basin, and decided to remove all the dirt. Then they called her. The branch manager was looking for her. She had to go to work. She took her weight and flew away. Hyun Su finally swallowed the elixir and smoked from its power. The display suggested that the degree of absorption of the elixir had reached 50%. Hyun Su's hair stood on end. His face was distorted with tension. The seed of the heavenly demon's power sprouted within him. When the absorption rate of the elixir reached 70%, Hyun Su's nose began to bleed. To the demon's surprise, the degree of assimilation reached 100%, and Hyun Su's body began to change. His clothes were torn. An inscription appeared on the display that the guy had completely absorbed the elixir. His body reached the peak of yang energy. He gained immunity to thermal effects and improved my ability to follow clues. He will also be able to learn the techniques of any individual once every knock. All the doctors in the hospital were busy. A large number of people came to them. Many wounded were sitting and lying in the corridor. This was all due to the fishmen invasion. Li Mi Na entered the room where Yun was lying. She said that her brother and sister were transferred to another hospital. The children have not yet regained consciousness. After going outside, Li Mi Na called Hyun Su again, but he again did not answer the call. The girl could not understand why Yun, who was badly injured, had already woken up and was on the mend. And her sister and brother, whom the monster did not touch at all, both fell into a coma. Ha Yurak listened to the manager's report, who said that the city had suffered great damage and many people had fallen into a coma after the monster attack. Doctors are looking for the causes of this condition. Ha Yurak called Hyun Su, but he did not answer her call. And this is after she transferred him a salary of 600 million won. Ha Yurak was very angry with the guy. In one of the offices, Hansen Baldur, leader of the EU Guild Class C Hunter, asked, Did this woman from the Red Lions take the guy to her? His interlocutor, Jill Lordman, a C Class Hunter not affiliated with any guild, replied that this was quite impressive for a beginner. Hansen could not understand how Hayurak managed to grab it. He was ready to declare war. 
Gill suggested that they take their time and resolve the issues peacefully. But Hansen said that he would rather kill the newcomer than give an advantage to the Red Lions Guild. Hyunsu was sitting on a sun lounger on the beach. Lee Mina approached him and asked if he was very tired. Hayurak and another girl invited him to play basketball. The girl gave a strong serve of the ball, and he flew right into the guy's face. The girls laughed that he couldn't hit such a simple ball. The ball flew into the sea and Hyunsu went after it. The water foamed, and a huge snake emerged to the surface. Hyunsu jumped on the head of the snake and plunged into the sea with him. There was an explosion and Hyunsu began to drown. He woke up in his room and could not distinguish sleep from reality. The demon was already waiting for him to wake up like a cat and demanded food. Hyunsu looked at the calendar and realized that he had slept for two and a half days. At the association office, Lee Mina was talking on the phone with Hyunsu. She screamed that it was impossible to eat the elixir on its own. You can die from this. In the office of the Red Lions Guild, Hayurak did not believe that the guy ate the elixir and simply slept for two days. She reacted much more calmly to the news than Lee Mina. He survived and did well. Hyunsu was talking on the phone and at the same time feeding the demon from his hands. A display window appeared in front of him, telling him that his level had increased and a new ability had appeared. He could now learn the heavenly demon technique once a day. The demon did not believe that this was possible, and he wanted to hit the student in the forehead, but he sharply dodged. Hyun Su came to the hospital to check on Yoon. The children were still in a coma, and Yoon was worried that if they did not come out of it. Hyun Su said that he and Yoon were alike, and led her to the ward where his younger brother lay in a coma. He had been lying like that since the whole family had an accident. The demon looked at the boy carefully and said that he had a very strange aura. The seal of a curse is placed on his heart. There is one way to get around it, but then the demon thought about it. A skeletal spear was being sold at auction. Prices increased to 70 million won. One of those present raised the bet. It was the leader of the Aegis Guild, Choi Jae Hyuk. His bid was outbid by another man, Jin Si Hyuk. Choi Jae Hyuk was very unhappy about this. Jin Si Hyuk was carrying the purchase and was about to get into his car. He had a very successful day. Choi called out to him and asked him, Is he completely crazy? Why is he overpaying for things? Jin replied that he would not regret a larger amount. Choi stamped his foot and there was an explosion that knocked Jin over. He jumped up and drew his spear to try his purchase on his insolent opponent. Choi held his hands behind his back and they became iron. Jin rushed at his opponent with a spear. Choi swung his iron fist. Jin missed the blow and flew to the side. The spear fell from his hands. Choi smiled badly and said that none of those who outbid him at auctions had ever left alive. At the Red Lion's guild office, Hayurak screams that she's tired of responding to the complaints she's been bombarded with because of Choi's behavior. Choi replies that he had reasons for such behavior. Hayurak promises that if even one more complaint comes, she will tear him into pieces and then burn him. Choi leaves, but on the threshold asks when the boss will introduce him to the new Class A hunter. Hayurak kicks the impudent man out of the office, and he walks down the corridor, confident that he will soon meet the newcomer. At the hospital, Yoon admires that her friend is a hunter. Hyunsu promises her to visit her brother and sister and let the girl recover quickly. He and the demon return to Hyunsu's brother's room, and the guy asks, what way is there for his brother to come out of his coma? This method is called chopping heavenly tongue, but now Hyunsu won't be able to use it. This is a secret technique, a sorcery invented by one of the heavenly demons. Only someone who possesses the body of a heavenly demon can use it. Hyunsu remembers that he has leveled up and can repeat one of the sky demon techniques once a day. He stands over his brother's bed and extends his hand to him. Streams of power begin to emanate from the guy. They form circles with ancient writings. The demon doesn't believe his eyes. What his student is doing is impossible. Hyunsu decides to increase his strength, which affects his brother. At some point, everything goes wrong and the power dissipates. Hyunsu was thrown away from the sickbed, and it was all over. The demon says that the guy doesn't have enough strength yet, and is not yet ready for such techniques. Hansen does not give up the idea of destroying Hyunsu and demands that all the most powerful hunters of his guild come to him. Jill tries to dissuade him, but to no avail. The door opens and on the threshold stands Yamamoto Takeshi, a C-class hunter, vice leader of the EU guild. Jill tells him about Hansen's plans, and Takeshi gloomily says that he did not want to work for him at the time. Jill replies that Takeshi can work for himself, like him. Jill asks the hunter what happened to a certain fragment this time. He replies that he is not the same again, like last time. There was a deserted desert there. Maybe we should look for a new fragment in Korea. But she is under the influence of the Red Lions, so all we can do is wait and see. The appearance of a new hunter, Park Hyun Su, may speed up the search for the fragment. There will be an expedition soon. They remember the will of the dragon ancestor. 
who said that if the hunters do not collect all the fragments into one hole in one year, that their world will face a disaster that even C-class hunters will not be able to cope with. If the dragon ancestor is the boss of heaven, then the portals scattered throughout the world are fragments of heaven. Collecting everything in a year is a curse. But the hunters must do this, so they need as many high-ranking hunters as possible. Takeshi slammed his fist on the table. hyun Su came to visit Yoon's brother and sister in the hospital. They haven't come to their senses yet. There were many people in the same condition in the hospital. The demon determined that it was all about cold energy. All these people met mermen. Creatures underwater initially carry yin energy. And monsters have especially strong energy. Those who have high yin energy encounter monsters. Their energies collide and turn into cold energy. After which people hibernate like bears. Hensu realizes that yang energy can be used to remove yin. Then people will wake up. He picked up the boy and sat him down in bed. The guy pressed his hands to the body of the sleeping boy. Plumes of black smoke began to emerge from the child's head. The demon shouted that now it was necessary to burn the yin energy that came out of the patient. hyun Su took care of fire safety measures and decided that he could absorb the yin energy. The demon believes that this could be dangerous for his student. But hyun Su successfully completes this task. He takes the black clouds of smoke with his hand and removes them from the child's head. The boy's head is clear. He clenches his fist and the energy dissolves. Three flowers grow from his head. He achieved the harmony of yin-yang. After a moment, the flowers disappear. The boy wakes up and asks where he is. When the doctors came running, hyun Su was already working with the girl. None of those present saw the energy flows. They were visible only to the guy and the demon. He ripped the black energy out of her head. And the girl also woke up to the joyful cries of the people who were watching this. Hyun cried and thanked the guy for curing her brother and sister. There were no longer enough places in hospitals to accommodate everyone who fell into a coma. At this time, news came that Hyun Su had cured some such patients. The patient's relatives did not know how to thank the guy. Their joy was boundless. Hyun Su walked from ward to ward and was accompanied by an enthusiastic crowd. The demon was very glad that everyone praised and admired his student. Ha Yurak called Hyun Su while he was treating another patient. She said that the association sent them a request for help in hospitals. They also sent Hyun Su a check with payment for the work. Hyun Su questioned whether the payment should go to the guild he works for. But Hayuruk replied that the job had nothing to do with the guild, and the money belonged entirely to Hyun Su. The crafty Hansen received a phone call. They told him that they found out where the hunter Park Hyun Su lives. He went outside, and he flew in the direction of Hyun Su's house. At this time, Hyun Su tried to dissuade the demon from having another lunch or dinner. He was tired of feeding him from his own hands. The demon could not be convinced, and the guy put the water for ramen on the fire. At this time his phone rang, and ha Yurak ordered the guy to leave the house immediately. He didn't understand what she was talking about, but the demon also sensed that someone very strong and evil was approaching them. hyun Su jumped out of the apartment and ran. He ran out into the street and saw a flying object in the sky. From below it was impossible to make out what it was. Hansen landed in the middle of the street and asked if Park hyun Su came out to meet him. When he landed there was an explosion, and hyun Su could barely stand on his feet. Without further ado, Hansen created a force ball and launched it at the guy. hyun Su stood and watched death fly towards him. There was a deafening explosion. The association also noticed an unidentified living organism that was located in the area where Park hyun Su lives. Lee Mina thought that achieving supersonic speed was rare, even for a C-class. ha Yurak was sure that this was Hansen. He hated the Red Lions Guild to the core. She was the only one who could stop him and prepared for battle. Lee Mina also came to the rescue of hyun Su, but the general director stopped her. There is no point in participating in the battle of C-classes. The association will not stand aside. They had already asked the Azure Dragon Squad to begin preparations to use the divine item, the Mirror World. A squad of motorcyclists is driving along the street. Team B, Ant and Cheetah to get ready. A C-class awaits them. This is a completely different level from what it was before. Falcon had the Mirror World artifact, and he was already ready to move onto the battlefield. Falcon jumped from a building window. His body changed, his arms became wings and he flew. The artifact lay on his back. hyun Su deflected the energy of the explosion easily and simply. The demon thought that his disciple had obtained the power of yin and yang and had reached the realm of evolution. He became much stronger than other hunters. His speed increased. hyun Su asked who this attacker is and what does he want from him. Hansen was surprised that Class A was able to parry his attack. hyun Su shouted at the people in the houses to leave. It would be dangerous here. The demon advised him to concentrate. The battle would not be easy. Hansen released a stream of power into hyun Su called the Art of Flowers. hyun Su didn't believe that the enemy would use the same attack a second time and think it would work. 
but Hansen suddenly appeared behind the guy. His body underwent a transformation and was covered with iron armor. Hyun Su noted that his opponent had just fired energy bullets. This means he has many abilities. Hansen threw his fist forward and unleashed a supersonic three swing kick. Hyun Su blocked with his hands and shielded himself from the blow. Despite this, he was thrown far back. The blow was so strong that the guy broke through a concrete wall, and he fell down, breathing heavily. He couldn't feel his right hand and couldn't believe that he would die so easily. Hansen instantly covered the distance that was between them and jumped into the room where Hyun Su flew into. He was about to launch a supersonic strike in five swings. Hyun Su heard the demon's dissatisfied voice. Was it in vain that the idiot learned the movements of the heavenly demon? The guy came into reality and began to move as best he could. He attacked Hansen with Sky Demon Flight. The attack came from all sides. Hyun Su moved very quickly, and he struck. A figure flew out of the house, breaking through the wall. Ha Yurak flew to the battle site and thought how long would Hyun Su hold out against Hansen if they met. Most likely everything will be over in a moment, so you need to hurry. She flew to the place. Hyun Su was hanging on the wall, pressed tightly into it. It reminded him of the fight with the snake. Hansen approached him and noticed that he was thinking of ending the guy with one blow. He's amazed at how long the guy lasted. Hansen raised his hand for the final blow. Hyun Su yelled that he didn't understand what his opponent was talking about, and the force swirled around him. He pulled away from the wall and clenched his fist and threw it towards Hansen. There was a new explosion. Hyun Su pounced on his opponent and began to beat him. Hansen blocked with his iron fist and deflected the blow. But the blow was so strong that despite the block, Hansen was thrown back. He managed to stay on his feet and took a fighting stance. Hyun Su turned out to be much stronger than Hansen thought. But his iron hand began to crumble. It was impossible, but the A-class fighter was able to destroy the reinforced arm. He used the silver pulse technique, and his arms recovered, much to the surprise of Hyun Su and the demon. The demon advised the student not to give the enemy a break and to use the blow of the tree to crush him. Hyun Su did just that. He spread his palms and launched a powerful pulse of power at Hansen. From the impact of the tree, Hansen disappeared and water appeared in his place. As he really evaporated, Hansen suddenly appeared next to Hyun Su. He grabbed him by the hair and swung the curved sword that grew out of his hand. Hyun Su broke free from the enemy's grip. He already understood his tactics. And she won't go for a ride with him. With a blow of the leaf, he intended to cut the enemy in two. The guy seriously injured Hansen. His arm was unable to function and his entire side was covered in blood. He began to recover. Hyun Su realized that it would not be possible to finish off the enemy in a way that was safe for people who found themselves in the conflict zone. The only way out was to go to a school where there were no students and continue there. Hyun Su rushed towards the school building. The building was located on a hill, and this could minimize harm to people. Hansen received a serious wound and was not able to fully recover. Despite this, he rushed in pursuit of the enemy. Hyun Su ran to the top floor of the school, followed by an enraged Hansen. He hit Hyun Su, and the guy flew into the wall again. Hyun Su was running for his life and thought that such monsters who fight in residential areas cannot be called hunters. Hansen dealt blow after blow. Hyun Su dodged, and the school was destroyed. Hansen was surprised that his opponent was still alive and holding out for so long. He even felt sorry for killing such a talent. He waved his hand in which he held another fireball and shouted that Hayurak was to blame for everything. The ball flew exactly to the place where Hyun Su was lying. A strong explosion destroyed the walls. After the dust from the explosion settled, Hansen stood in the center of the circle, with piles of stones and concrete lying around and fires burning. No one could survive in such hell. Hansen thought that ability assessment was very bad in this country. In front of him was not Class A but Class C, and he dealt with it. This battle took a toll on Hansen. He was tired. He was about to leave. At this time, Hyun Su rose from the rubble of stones which made Hansen go nuts. He did not expect such a surprise. Hyun Su was very unhappy with being beaten all the time and accumulated strength. Hansen created a fireball again and shouted that he would burn the brat until he turned to ash. He didn't have time to throw the energy ball. It simply melted in his hand. This has never happened before. Hyun Su silently approached the disarmed enemy. Hansen clenched his fists and attacked the guy. Hyun Su deftly dodged the blow, and he responded with such a blow that Hansen could not avoid. After which, second-level heavenly-destroying demonic clucks rained down on Hansen. Hansen was flying like a hot air balloon. Hyun Su was determined to punish his opponent to the fullest. Five days ago in the portal, Hyun Su was practicing martial arts with a demon. No matter how hard the guy tried, he couldn't even touch his teacher. The demon made a slight movement with his fingers, and his student was already falling. The demon said that the disciple was not using his heavenly demon particle and internal energy well. 
Energy should be thought of as a well of water. The strong will be able to bring water a hundred times, but the weak will not be able to bring it even once. The guy needs training that will help him become stronger and use his inner energy. The best way to do this is to fight in real battles. Victory over a strong opponent will make the student even stronger. Now Hyun Soo faced his first strong opponent. Will he be able to defeat him? Hansen attacked his opponent again. Even after a series of such strong blows, he was able to stand on his feet and was ready to fight. His body was covered in iron armor. Hansen didn't think anyone could hit him that hard. No wonder the Red Lion Guild was so after this guy. Hansen was known as an astral magician. He always fought from a long distance, but he was also capable of close combat. Hansen rushed to the attack. From a strong blow, Hyun Soo flew back again. With his sword hands, Hansen was ready to cut off the head of his enemy. The demon pointed out this danger to the student. He advised using the heavenly demon soul technique. Hyun Soo crouched down and dodged the deadly blades that slid near his neck and attacked Hansen with the soul of the heavenly demon. Hansen saw only a stream of light that was heading towards him. He found himself in the center of this stream, not understanding what kind of technique it was. Hyun Soo jumped out of the light near him and ordered the enemy to explode. And then came the blow of the tree. When the smoke cleared, Hyun Soo stood next to Hansen and rested his palms on his body. The guy felt like he used all his strength to draw water out of the well. Now it was Hansen's turn to strike, which he did with great relish. He landed a great uppercut to Hyun Soo's chin. It seemed like the guy's head was going to fall off. People watched what was happening and felt sorry for the school, which was destroyed. A high column of black smoke rose from there. Motorcyclists were already approaching the battle site. They decided to act with utmost caution. Within 20 minutes from the start of the battle, the entire zone was destroyed. Most likely, the hunter Hyun Soo is dead. We need to calm down the second psycho. Through binoculars, it became visible how the living Hyun Soo and the second psycho Hansen grappled in hand-to-hand -hand combat. They hit each other so hard that they flew in different directions. Both of them had little strength left, and Hyun Soo finally asked why the idiot appeared out of nowhere and attacked him. He sees him for the first time in his life. Hansen decided to make fun of him and pretended that he didn't understand what the idiot was talking about. Hyun Soo was shocked by such impudence. Hansen rose to his feet. He reported that his energy beam had recovered and flew upward, leaving the stunned Hyun Soo below alone. From above, Hansen fired an energy charge at the guy. The demon barely managed to drag his student away from the place of defeat, otherwise the end would have come to him. Hansen noticed that it was as if someone had saved his opponent. He did not see who it was and was very surprised. Hyun Soo just lay on the ground. He lost all his strength. The demon tried to raise him so as not to lose his student forever. Hyun Soo saw his true form emerge from the ghostly demon, and the true master began to plunge into the consciousness of Hyun Soo. Lee Mi-na ordered the arriving squad to intervene in the battle before Park hyun Su died. The Azure Dragon Squad was obliged to engage in battle, but they saw what the fighters were like and did not dare to budge. Park hyun Su began to rise to his feet. The demon couldn't let his student die, and although it was rude to interfere in someone else's fight, he wanted to give the guy the opportunity to at least escape. hyun Su had no intention of running away. He reminded the demon that he could repeat one of his techniques once a day. He would like to use a martial art that can be used without internal energy. For example, a heavenly spiritual body. Hyun Soo got his second wind and attacked the enemy. Hansen was already very tired, and to finish it all he sent another energy ball at the guy. Hyun Soo put his hands forward, trying to hold back the flow of hostile energy. The mirror world artifact flew between the fighters and stood up. A stream of energy rushed into him. The mirror absorbed the energies of both fighters. A moment later it broke. Hansen landed on the ground. The fighters looked up and saw a birdman flying above them. The Azure Dragon soldiers couldn't believe that the mirror world shattered after just one use. Hansen heard someone calling him from the sky. Hayurak landed between the opponents in a cloud of fire. Hyun Soo was happy to see his boss here. Hayurak was glad that Hyun Soo was able to hold out against Hansen for so long. Now she was going to deal with him. Hansen asked if Hayurak decided to defeat him alone. They were interrupted by a portal that appeared on the battlefield. Takeshi and Jill came out.